Uh, when Elijah Cummings uh, died, I had a very sick feeling that servant leadership died with him. That's, that's a true feeling. However, during his funeral, there was a sign up that said, the Honorable Elijah Cummings. And there was a comment that was made in his eulogy that said, Elijah Cummings was honorable before he became a congressman. Can you relate that to servant leadership? I think uh, honor and ethics and virtue comes first. Now what you do when you're a political person, I don't know. But I know some splendid political people, and I'm not gonna have a political discussion, not gonna use any names. But I know two political people that coupled with a third one, and they made a blood oath when they were students in college that they were going to go out and remind all the world leaders, all the world leaders, about the poor. That was their whole mission for the rest of their lives. High-end senator, a man that bridged all politics, was the uh, chaplain of one of the units, and they did it. Now, they've just been, I mean, there's a price for leadership, and they've just, they're all dead right now. Last funeral was a year ago. I knew them. I knew what they did. I've met people all over the world that they've affected. And they have talked to all the worst guys in the, in the world. And the way they got to talk to them is they, they had a method, and they didn't get their heads chopped off, and they didn't get thrown in jail. So it's with each one of us. We got the burden of hand. You're going to crush it? Or are you going to release it? It's up to us. There's a political system. As one elected representative told me, Dick, what goes in counts, but what comes out the other end you will never recognize.